Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. So almost a year ago, I walked into Costco and was shocked to find $30 carbon fiber trekking poles by the front door. Now, I was a little skeptical, but in the box, they looked pretty good. So I figured I'd pick up a pair, give them some long-term testing, and ultimately do a review on them. I didn't really have any expectations or anything, but I won't ruin the review. I'll just say I've been extremely surprised by their performance. So all through the summer, I've been doing day hikes with these poles, backpacking with them. Most recently, I did the Wind River High Route with them, and if you didn't see the video, you should check it out. But it, it was very rocky terrain, snowy, and really just rough hiking. So I put a lot of abuse on these poles, and they have come out shining. Let's jump into the review, and I'll show you why I like them. As you can see, these poles have a cork grip, an extended foam grip, they have three sections, all of which are completely carbon fiber, and they use flick, or if you want to call them flip locks, to secure the sections together, unlike the twist locks, which people say they fail often. Honestly, twist locks perform pretty well, too. Total weight on the pair of trekking poles with straps comes out to 15.7 ounces, or 446 grams, which is pretty dang light. That's lighter than any of my aluminum lecky poles that I've had, and at 7.9 ounces per pole, that is more than light enough for me. I know a lot of people, and myself included, when they first think of carbon fiber poles, they think of poles snapping. Well, I have to say, I don't think that's going to be an issue at all for these poles. Now, I know it is for some thinner carbon fiber poles, like the black diamond poles and some of the gossamer gear ones, but these things are beefy and they feel super sturdy. Throughout this last summer, I've fallen down on these poles, I've sat down on them, I've gotten them jammed between rocks and kept walking with them. I've done all sorts of things to beat them up and potentially break them, and they show no indication of failing or that they ever will, which is really cool. As far as the locks on these poles go, like I said, they are flick locks. And while they aren't the prettiest or most refined flick locks, they work very well. I've yet to have one slip on me at all, and that's including falling on the poles, doing tarp setups, sitting on the poles to take breaks, and anything else. I've just, they haven't slipped at all, which is more than I can say about most poles. One thing that really makes or breaks a pole for me is the grip and how comfortable it is. And I have to say, I really like the grips on these poles. So the top of the grip, the main part, is a cork handle, and then beneath that is a, a little extended grip that's made of EVA foam. Now for the cork part, I actually think it's a really nice grip. It doesn't have the best fit and finish, there's little gaps between the foam and the cork here and there, and it doesn't look the greatest, but the cork is actually a really nice cork. It's thick, it absorbs sweat well, and it maintains grip as you're hiking with it. I'll be a little crazy here and say that I think I like this cork grip better than I like Lecky's cork light cork grip because it's a little less plasticky feeling. It's actually a more cork-like feeling, which is ideally what you want. I also really like the extended grip on these poles. Now if you haven't used an extended grip on a trekking pole before, basically it allows you to drop your hand down a bit, lowering the height of the poles and aiding you in climbing uphill or climbing over boulders. And a lot of times I find that I just hold the grips down there when I'm not really hiking seriously, but just kind of strolling along and it's really comfortable. The straps on these poles are definitely sufficient. I find them to be pretty comfortable and they work well enough. I haven't found that I've chafed anywhere or had any abrasion on my hands over extended hikes, but they're not the greatest straps either. One thing you'll notice is that the left and right sides are the same, so you don't have a left hand and a right hand, which for some people that may be a, a benefit because you don't have to find your left pole and find your right pole. But for me, I kind of like having the left-handed pole and the right-handed pole because the straps mold your hands and you just get used to the feel of those poles in your hands. So that's one downside, but that said, the straps are comfortable for both sides, so it's not a huge deal. They are pretty easy to adjust. The way they adjust isn't the most clever thing in the world, but it works well enough and it's easy to do and it doesn't slip, so you can't really ask for much more than that for 30 bucks. The final part of these poles I'll talk about are the tips. And while the tips are sufficient for backpacking and hiking, I think that they're not the most durable tips. Just based on the wear that I've seen on them so far, just with the amount of hiking that I've done, I definitely don't think they would last long enough for probably half a through hike. But the good thing is you can replace the tips with either Black Diamond Flex tips or some of the Lecky tips too. So there are options for way more durable tips out there and if you're going to be through hiking with these poles I would probably recommend replacing the tips before you even head out with the poles. 
When you buy these poles new, they come with all sorts of junk for the tips of the poles, like tiny little baskets and weird indoor walking feet and some protective rubber tips and stuff, mostly stuff you don't need. But one nice thing is that it does come with snow baskets from the start, so if you're going to do any snowshoeing or snow backpacking or even skiing, these poles will be ready from the start, which is really nice, especially for 30 bucks. Now that said, if you're swapping out the tips for more durable ones, you'll need either the Lecky or Black Diamond snow baskets to go with whatever tips you add on. So that's the physical side of the poles. And overall, I would say these are really nice poles, especially for the value, I would highly recommend them. It's a pretty insane value for what you're getting. And I know there's going to be some questions that pop up, so I'm going to try to answer a few here. And if you have any more, leave them in the comments, and I'll get right back to you. So I know the first question that's going to pop up is, would you through hike with these poles? And I have to say, I definitely would. Now, like I mentioned before, the tips aren't the most durable, so I'd probably swap them out before I through hiked, either to Black Diamond or Lecky Tips. But I would definitely hike with them, and I honestly think that they would last for an entire through hike if not longer. Another question I'm sure that's going to pop up is how do these perform with tarps? My experience these poles are perfect for tarp users and tarp tent users. So I've pitched my tarp in different heights, different formations with the poles and they've worked really well. I mean it's just like using your traditional lecky poles. They don't slip at all, they hold up the tarp well, and the cool thing is because they're adjustable you can pitch with different heights and different ways of pitching your tarp unlike most carbon fiber poles which tend to be a fixed length so you can you kind of have to work with the pole to pitch your tarp okay the final question i think might pop up is do these poles rattle now a lot of carbon fiber poles have a tendency to rattle when you're hiking which is pretty annoying and i'll say that these poles don't have that rattle when you're just normal hiking I've found that if you hit them really hard against a rock or kind of trip and tap the side of a rock with them, they will have a little bit of a rattle, but it's definitely not enough to be annoying. And I found that you can also reduce it a bit by just cranking down more on the clamps or on the locks. Well, that sums up the review, guys. Like I said earlier, I would highly recommend these poles. They're a great place to start if you're just getting into the trekking pole world. And they're just a great overall lightweight pole for anyone that's into backpacking or through hiking. As you can see here, they just came into stock at my local Costco. They're 30 bucks. They tend to stock them through the winter and then carry them into the spring, but they do go fast. Also, if you can't find them there, you can find them on Amazon. And if you click through the link in my description here, you'll be giving me a little kickback and supporting the blog. So thanks. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.